In this tutorial video, you will see a project from start to finish. We will construct 3D room geometry from a 2D CAD file, place luminaires, calculation grids, and then document our project in the print editor. To start, we will import a CAD file. From the file menu, select Import, then select a DWG or DXF file. Within Visual, you can control layer properties of the CAD file. I will lock all layers to prevent accidental changes. We can draw the hallway by selecting the polygonal room command, specifying the height in the dynamic properties tab. We can select endpoint object snap so that we can easily locate the corner points of the room from the imported background. We can then repeat that room command to draw the other rooms. In the luminaire schedule, we can add, view, and edit luminaires in our project. Selecting New will display the product selection dialog, which includes the complete Acuity Brands product database. The Acuity Brands product database can be navigated graphically, or you can search to find your luminaires. ABL product information includes spec sheets and product images. Most Acuity Brand products also include a 3D model of the luminaire. Properties of Luminaire like Light Loss Factor are edited in the schedule. Luminaires are added to your design using the Place command. The mounting height is set in the Dynamic Properties tab. The Array command allows easy creation of regularly spaced layouts. The spacing between luminaires is set in the Dynamic Properties tab. After a luminaire is selected and a base point set, a preview of the result of the command is shown in red as you move your cursor. The array is created after a second left click indicates the extent of the array. After selecting the place command, you can also change the luminaire type and orientation in the dynamic properties tab. When placing asymmetric and directional luminaires, turning on the photometric web provides a visual indication of what direction light is emitted from the luminaire, making it easier to properly position your luminaire. For rooms with similar layouts, the copy command can be used to quickly copy the lighting layout from one room to another. You can add calculation zones to each room using the calculation zone from surface command. The height of the calculation grid can be set in the dynamic properties tab. You can select multiple rooms to create multiple grids simultaneously. Selecting the render command will calculate and render your lighting design. Visual displays the rendering as soon as the information is available. The quality of the render is then improved over multiple passes, but you can navigate the design environment as your rendering is refining. Using the Properties command, you can select luminaires and other objects to view and edit their properties in the Properties tab. You can save customized views of your lighting design in the design environment that can then be included in the Print Editor. Open the Print Editor by selecting it from the File menu or by clicking the Print Editor icon. Click the Luminaire Schedule command to insert your Luminaire Schedule into the Print Editor. You can then move and resize the schedule. From the Products dropdown, you can easily add product images or spec sheets from Acuity Brands products. Using the Drawing command, you can insert an orthographic view of your lighting design that you can move and rescale after placing. From the Print Editor, you can control the visibility of layers in your drawing. Using the Statistics command, you can insert a customizable statistical summary for your project. You can insert any saved views as an image that you can move and resize.
With Visual 2012, it's easier than ever to perform and document lighting calculations. For more tutorial videos, visit visual-3d.com.